During my trading career, I always used the MACD and although I made quite good profits, I recently started using three new MACD optimized indicators for better results. Before starting, you need to know that the MACD or moving average convergence and divergence is probably one of the most popular technical indicators among new and professional traders. It's a trend following momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages of a securities price. It also helps traders understand whether the bullish or bearish momentum in the price is strengthening or weakening. In my opinion, the MACD is quite good, but as I said before, I think there are some other options out there that show much better results when it comes to predicting the price movement. So in this video, I will share with you my top three magic trading view indicators that will make you way more profits long term than a regular MACD. Let's get into it. To begin, go to tradingview.com and add the indicator called Normalized Smooth MACD by Dread Blitz. Now let's understand what this indicator consists of. So, first of all, we have a zero line, a mag line, and a signal line. The signal line is colored black, so you can't really see it. But I think it's not going to be important anyway, because we have this colored magenta line. Now let's understand how this indicator works. Every time the gray line changes its color from green to red, this is in signal that the price momentum has changed from bullish to bearish, and exactly the opposite is true. When the line changes from red to green, you can use these signals for entries. However, I would highly recommend you to make some adjustments to the indicator first. So in the input section, let's change the smoothing period from 5 to 30 and the normalization period from 20 to 30 as well. Right away, we can see that we have fewer false signals. In fact, take a look at how accurate these signals have become. Obviously, not all of them will bring you profits, but this is definitely better than it was before. This smooth normalized MACD can be used as a first or second confirmation indicator, and I'm sure you can build a really successful strategy with it. If we compare it to the regular MACD, you can see the difference right away. It issues fewer full signals and sometimes the signals from this smooth MACD can get you into a trade at a better price. Obviously, these settings are just an example, you can use your own. I definitely recommend this indicator, so go ahead and test it out and let me know if you are profitable with it too. In the second place, we've got a really interesting indicator called the WTMO Wave Trend Momentum Oscillator by Verifid. This is a great oscillator and besides these three moving averages, it also provides overbought and oversold areas. If we access its settings, we see that it has so many options for customization. Now, we can see what this indicator consists of, so, first, we have the upper and lower lines, which are these ones right here. Then we have a zero level, an oscillator line, which is this blue line. Then we have this trigger line, which is colored in yellow, and the wave trend crossover. This tool can either be used as a zero line or two line cross indicator. So for a long signal, you can either wait for this wave trend crossover to cross above zero or for this oscillator blue line to cross above this trigger yellow line. If we compare this WTMO indicator to the regular MACD, we can see that the latter doesn't react to the price changes that quickly. Of course, we can't ignore the fact that the indicator still issues quite a few full signals, but we can play with the settings and make it a bit slower. Okay. So these are probably the best settings I could find, and we see that the signals are pretty accurate. Obviously, I ignore these bad signals because they could be eliminated if we added a moving average to the chart. So, yeah, definitely a great indicator. Give it a try and see how it goes. Alright, so we finally got to the number one indicator, and it's called the Zero Lag MACD, enhanced by Albert Callisto. Obviously, before we start using this tool, we need to make some adjustments. So first of all, let's get rid of this EMA on the MACD line. Also, 
Let's make the signal and the MACD line more visible. And the reason this indicator is much better than a regular MACD is because it reacts to price changes really quickly. The way this indicator removes the lag is by using a zero lag moving average instead of a traditional moving average. The zero lag MACD places greater emphasis on recent prices and generates earlier signals than the regular MACD. One way of using zero lag MACD is to use crossover with the signal line. When zero lag MACD is below zero and crosses above the signal line, a long trade can be initiated. For a short trade, the zero lag MACD has to be above zero, and a downward cross has to happen with the signal line. Just like a regular MACD, this indicator can also be used for divergences. Also, when these two lines cross each other, the indicator prints a circle, which makes it much easier to read. If we compare it to regular MAC, the difference is really obvious. Just take a look at how accurate these signals have become. It's not recommended to use this indicator on its own, because sometimes it issues fake signals. So here is an example of a strategy you could use with this indicator. For the baseline, we've got this whole EMA, and for the volume indicator, we've got this volume oscillator. Every time the MACD prints a green circle, this would be a signal for us to buy. Of course, we can only buy if the price action is closed above the whole EMA and the line is colored green. And the volume oscillator has to be above zero. For example, if you had a signal to go long, but the volume was not there, you would skip such a signal, and we can see that this bad long trade was eliminated. For a short signal to be valid, the price action has to be closed below the whole EMA. The MACD has to print a purple circle, and the volume also has to be above zero. Of course, this is just an example. You can use your own strategy, but make sure it is back-tested and forward-tested properly before trading live. Okay, I hope you now fully understand how to trade using this strategy. So let's actually do our back-test on a 5-minute time frame and see if the outcomes are reasonable or not. I just finished the back-testing, and these results have surprised me. Our win rate is 68%, and the profits end up at 56%. I would also like to mention that these results will be different when trading live, so always try the strategy for yourself before using it. If you want to see one of my other trading strategies I use when day trading, check this video right here because this strategy works great on the every time frame you want. I'll see you guys next time.